Entrepreneurs, welcome to another episode of Entrepreneur Fundamentals. My name is Robert Bitto. I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic that I've been stewing over for quite some time. I am inspired to make this video by someone who is proximate to me, someone I see every single day flaunting his money with his cars and and all of this stuff that he's buying and showing off. He doesn't even know what to do with his money. He's making so much. And in those circles that this person is moving in, or moving around in, in those online circles of funnels and buy my program and get on my program and I can save you and I'm here to save you, there's this theme that you see that is that these people always seem to touch on. I guess two elements of this, of this theme. I'm making a lot of money. I'm a millionaire because number one, I'm solving problems. And number two, I'm providing value. And so all you gotta do is provide value and solve a problem and serve. That's another dimension of this. I serve people and then you'll become rich. And if you're not, if you're broke, if you're struggling, that means you're not providing value, you're not serving and you're not solving people's problems. And I wanna turn that upside down because you can, accumulate a lot of money through other ways besides serving, providing value, and solving problems. And just because you're a millionaire or multimillionaire or you're making um, eight figures in a year, it doesn't mean that you're solving problems, serving people, or providing value at all. There's such a thing called fraud. Yeah. Theft. Theft is... I guess a broader term, but if you're lying to people and you're promising the world and you are not representing who you really are and you're taking their money, maybe you are offering the perceived, um, the perception of value. So people are perceiving that you're, you're serving or offering value or solving a problem, but you're really defrauding them out of their money. So what I'm trying to get at here is if somebody comes at you and you've been working your business for four or five years and it's still a hard go for you, it's not because you're not providing value it's not because you're not serving and it's not because you're not solving problems. It's just that there are other things going on. Maybe people don't know about you. I There are, could be multiple reasons as to why you're not a millionaire. You might not even want to be a millionaire. A lot of people are very content about being their own boss, creating a legacy for their children and having enough to live off of on their own terms. And that's good enough for a lot of people. And I've met a lot of people like that who say that they don't need to be multimillionaires. And it's not because they are aiming low. That's just not what they're about. The guy with the fancy sports car and he has so much money he doesn't know what to do with. Well, you know, I, he will, he will say to you that you don't have money because you're a loser. And that's to try to get you on board with his program. I mean, you know, what's right for you. If you started your furniture store so that you can make a decent living and work alongside your wife all day and be your own boss and have something to pass on to your children, well, then those are your reasons for, for existing, for being an entrepreneur, for doing your business. And 
the people who really get me online and I've seen these multi multi-millionaires who say, I want to serve. You're not serving. You're not, you're ripping people off. And I mean, I don't know. They must not have consciences or something, but you're not getting that money because you're serving people. And the fact that someone doesn't have money and they're struggling with their business, it doesn't mean they're a loser. It doesn't mean that they're not serving, they're not solving problems, and they're not providing value. They could be providing a lot of value to a small customer base. And maybe their problem is they need to enlarge that customer base. But lack of money doesn't mean lack of talent, lack of ability, lack of heart in your business. It doesn't mean you're a loser. And being a multi multi millionaire doesn't mean the opposite. It doesn't mean that you're providing value. It doesn't mean you're solving a problem and it doesn't mean you're serving. You could be ripping people off and a lot of people are doing that. So don't let that get to you. Cause sometimes when I've been down, when sales have been down, I, I take it to heart and a lot of us do. And you say, well, I must not be providing value. People are not valuing what I'm doing. Well, it's more complex than that. That's a simplistic way of looking at it. And as I've said in many other videos, the chips are up, the chips are down. If you're in business long enough, for me, I'm going on 23 years. You see these cycles, you see these trends. It always comes around. So, you know, if you're in a low point, don't beat yourself up and it's not because you're a loser. And um, yeah, so I don't know. I was pretty much all over the place with this video, but I think I needed to say this stuff and I think a lot of people needed to hear this. Don't be envious of that guy with the Lambo or the, what's that, McLaren or whatever. <laughs> these, the, see, it's so far out of my experience, I don't even know the brands of these ultimate luxury cars. Don't envy these people. I mean, you don't know what they're up to. Um, you know what you need to do. And just focus on that. And don't beat yourself up. You're doing fine. That's all I needed to say on this. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to always work hard and may all your entrepreneurial dreams come true. Mm -hmm.